All right, well, welcome to Krusty Burger. Um, everyone likes a good Krusty Burger. Well, everyone likes a good Iman workout too. Uh, definitely a favorite style in the Whitey's Fitness at Home group. So, with that one, we're gonna need to put 20 minutes on the timer today. This one here, minute one, minute two, we have a prescribed number of reps. Minute three becomes a max effort. And today's movement max effort is gonna be sit-ups. So, uh, we'll go through those movements here. But um, realistically here, minutes one, minute two, you're really thinking about good quality movement. Minute number three is a max effort. And minute four, you're gonna get a rest. So you're gonna get rest in there and that's when you take your drink, that's when you record your reps of the sit up. So first movement, we get our box, our couch, our ottoman, our stairs, our step stool, whatever we're using. Ideally, 20 inches for women, 24 inches for men. We get our dumbbell. This might be a great opportunity to take a heavy dumbbell today because this is the only time you're gonna to be touching it is in minute number one and it's only 20 alternating box step ups. So we've got our one dumbbell right here and we're stepping that up. Full hip extension at the top, right? Okay. And always alternating and always stepping down, okay? So like I said, this might be a great opportunity to take a heavier dumbbell today. Um, if you're wanting to save shoulders for those hand release push-ups that are coming, the other alternative would be to put that dumbbell on the back of your neck or even, even like this, right? And just save those shoulders, okay? So that's minute number one. Minute number two, hand release push-ups. So for push-ups, right? got those hands underneath our shoulders, chest comes to ground, hands come off the ground, and we push it back out. That is a hand release push-up. Now, for those of who, us who don't have strict uh, push-ups, that's not a problem. We're still keeping that nice tight core, still keeping those hands underneath our shoulders, keeping those elbows close to the body, hands come off the ground, we push that out. 20 reps, okay? Make those good quality. Um, if you have a few strict hand, if you have a few strict push-ups in yet, this is a great opportunity to maybe mix a few in uh, with some push-ups from your knees. Because don't forget, we're also going to be doing that as part of our benchmark and testing those uh, push-ups at the end of the month. So after that, um, we finished our twenty, uh, finished our twenty hand release push-ups. You're going to have your rest time. We're going to get ready to go. Feet are together, right? Uh, we want a nice tight core while we're doing this. Hands are reaching out long behind you, feet are together. Chin to chest, that doesn't change this distance in this movement. And when we're lifting, we're lifting with our core and those shoulders are always to that hip crease, okay? So we're always to here. Now, big thing here um, is don't get bouncing them Right, is when you really start bouncing them, that's where the raspberry comes. So if we don't can't put our feet together, that's fine. Hook them under something, right? We're back, reaching long. All the same rules of the sit-up are in place. Only difference is, is that our feet aren't together and that shoulder is always to the hip crease, okay? So that's minute number three, max rep sit-ups. Minute number four, that's when you get your drink. That's when you record your reps and you get ready to go five rounds of that. Looking for a hundred plus sit-ups today, okay? That's what I'm counting on. Um, this is just a good strong core movement. So I'm looking for at least a hundred sit-ups. So push that pace, stay in control, stay out of the raspberry patch and have fun with it.